morning everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. And I've just had a disaster. Disaster has been averted, but it could have been a potentially dire, dire disaster. I brought my washing downstairs and my lovely Norwegian cardigan that I knitted that I've been wearing because it's so cold had got scooped up in my washing pile and it was in the washing machine. I could hear this clinking on the wall, on the, um, this bit here on your washing machine. I could hear clink, 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 clink. And I looked at it and there it was going round. But this, this little device here at the bottom of my washing machine, I'm sure other people have got them. I had one on my old and I just thought it's gonna have to open. So I worked out very quickly if I pulled that and, and pulled the, the door handle at the same time. <sighs> there it is in the sink. Oh my gosh, that is like one great big sigh of relief. And the other great big sigh of relief is, I've just had a message from the hairdresser. I thought I'd managed to cancel my appointment. I had, but she'd then got another cancellation, so she's put me back in. <laughs> I'll see you all later. It's the weekend and I'm home from work and I've come home to some happy posts. More happy posts, look at this. It's another one. It's another one, it says, beautiful new grandchild and it's from my lovely lovely adorable friend Jane over in Portland thank you so much Jane I adore it I haven't had a look at my beyond the pink door advent calendar yet it's a jigsaw puzzle it's an online jigsaw puzzle and it's like oh do you know it's not going to be as easy as we think because you've got to move the pieces to make the picture Oh, oh, that's better. Oh, I don't think I could do this now. And, um, let's give you a quick shot, blow. How cool is that? I could do this at the hairdressers tomorrow. Got to find my, st oh, that's a straight edge. That might want to go over there. I do loads of jigsaw puzzles with the kids at school and at after school club. I'm looking, oh, there's a corner. I think I might be a while. Here we go. Number eight on my proper old-fashioned advent calendar is... Oh! It's a scarf and hat, which is beautiful. And it's mittens! There you are, Adam. There are mittens on today's picture. Look and that. let's see what disaster holds inside the rubber duck advent calendar. Oh, it's a little orange duck today. A little standard duck. But I've got a new place for these. Hold on, I'm just going to move. I need to, just need to dust something. Hold so on. I have these frames from Ikea. And I thought I could put the ducks on top of these frames. <laughs> oh, vlogmas fun and games. As I get a piece of bread ready for myself, because I'm absolutely starving, tonight's job, tonight's one and only job, is to make the binding for the tree skirt and get the tree skirt round the tree. Uh, so let's see if we can get on with that, shall we? It's that time of the day again. About time we had a bit of houndmus. 
And we're on day eight. Day eight, hidden girls. Your public awaits. Where are you? Come on over there. Sit. We're not going to do the tricks tonight. We're just going to wait. Wait. Your hands tonight. No tricks tonight. I don't know whether you're meant to have them flat or whether you're meant to lift them up a little bit so that they stand up because I think this one probably would stand up. You're going to st don't go sniffing the lens. I could have it so it stood up like this, but I don't know. I might have to have a little play around with it. What do you think, Magwag? Do we have a little play around with it and see what we think's the best? Oh, I might leave it like that. Are you going to have a sniff to see what I've done? That's going to be great YouTube content, isn't it? That's it. So the tree skirt itself is made up of 15 separate petals. And this is what I would call a petal. And each petal is made up of three pieces. One, two, three. So you have your wording on one petal, the, uh, part of the petal. Then you have your picture. And then you have an area of either angels, this one's an angel, One, the next one over is the star, but the others, the main going round here, are just petals of, um, let's just have a look to make certain I can see what you can see, just have got stars and things up there as well. Now this is done using a technique known as embroidery in the hoop, or quilting in the hoop. And I was very lucky in that Lorianne actually talked me through what to do. But you started by putting in your no-show mesh. Each of the pieces of fabric was um, interfaced with a Pelon SF101 to give it a little bit of structure. You then put on your wadding. Um, you sewed that down and secured it. Then you put on your piece of fabric and that was all taped in place. And I did invest in a new hoop for my sewing machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and drop in a little link to one of the first of the embroidery videos that I did last Vlogmas when I started this off. And it has taken a long time to do. I thought I'd get it knocked off in the 24 days of Vlogmas last year and I was way out. It was a lot of work. I'm very fortunate in that my machine, my machine took this so you then have got these uh, tram lines here and those tram lines are your sewing together lines so yes it's made for 15 of these petals and there's a little join at the top now the one thing that I did do differently was I bagged it out so the side seam which is at the back which is just a straight one of these and there's two of those obviously I actually sewed those up and they'd suggested that you bound them and I thought no I'm not going to bind them I'm actually going to turn it through and bag it out and then I literally they it was it was a question of bagging it out and clipping the corners um, I'll show you this one here what it says Emmanuel can you see there and that's what gives it the beautiful curve and you literally then just go through and top stitch it hello there I'm actually sitting in the living room next to the Christmas tree at the moment there you go there's a little bit more Christmas tree for you so the pattern I used was by a company called Designs by Juju and I am going to lift the link from one of those earlier vlogs, drop it in for you and as you can see the one I have here was shown in red but they did show me all the way through that you could do the same design in different uh, colours but the if you do choose to follow and buy this pattern like I have done, the diagrams show you how to Put the fabric together for your machine quilting stroke embroidery in the hoop. Is it quilting in the hoop, embroidering in the hoop? Quilting in the hoop. You do it in the hoop and then you sew them together. It was a huge learning curve for me and I thoroughly enjoyed the process of making it. 
Now I've got it in situ, it's absolutely fantastic. So I don't have lots of presents to put under my tree because I haven't done any Christmas shopping yet. Uh, and I will have some presents to put under soon. I've just got to get round to it. Um, I tend to do my Christmas shopping later now than I've ever done before in my life. Um, when David was alive and the children were younger, I was one of these that had done the Christmas shopping by the end of November. And I used to find as I, went, as I got older that I actually really enjoy the experience of going out into town in that week before Christmas. There's, there's some kind of buzz that I can't quite pick up. And I suppose it's at the moment, I'm so absorbed in Christmas in school because we've got the nativity and we've had Christmas fair today. I'm spending time at Castle Howe, so it's not as if I don't feel Christmassy. I feel crazily Christmassy. I just haven't done any Christmas shopping because I haven't had time to. And now I've got a grandson to go. So on that note, from next to my Christmas tree, I am going to say a good night to you all and thank you very much for watching. I'm struggling to keep up with the comments. I thought that might be the case, but rest assured, I've liked every one that I've seen to date, which means I have read them. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye and all being well, I'll be with you for day nine tomorrow. If I'm not, it's because I've spent a lovely afternoon with my grandson and I've got home too late. <laughs> Will you let me off for that one? So for now, thank you ever so much. And if you're newly subscribed, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate having you on board.